Hey, Shubham, good evening. Thank you for accepting our invite to be present today. How are you doing, Shubham? I'm good, sir. I'm good. I'm so happy to see you back again. It's been so long and ill. And I'm just so happy to come back Thank here. Share my Thank you. So, uh, so what we will do in today's discussion, Shubham, is that you had a very structured data analytics interview with uh, Shift, one of the startups by Z one of Zomato's co-founder. Shift, for everybody's knowledge, is into health tech, health tech. You know, they, uh, they provide various health tech related services to customers worldwide. And uh, so uh, I want to structure today's discussion around what kind of interview rounds you had as part of the data analytics role that you were hired for in Shift. And, um, uh, and we'll go into the details of how the program at IB Pro School, the data science AI ML program with NASCOM helped you in this uh, particular interview rounds. So let's start with that. Uh, um, just to set a little bit of context, Chubham, in which year did you do the program, uh, the data science with AI and ML with NASA program with IB Pro School? Uh, it was in year 2021. Uh, it was in the month of August. So okay. that was the time where I started. Yeah. Started. All right. Yeah. And I am assuming that you finished it up in 2022. Uh, 2022, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Great. Most probably around uh, June, July. Yeah. All right. Great, great. Thank you, Shubham. So, Shubham, tell me uh, more about this company's interview round that you had. What are the different rounds that you had? And if you can go into as many details as you want. Right, right. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, first of all, sir, I would like to thank you and the whole team of IV for inviting me here to share my experience. It's been an amazing journey with IV. Um, uh, like, for like, I was there for six, seven months. Every day, it was like a wow moment for me. So I'm really grateful that you invited me today to share my experience. Sure. Talking about shift and the rounds with shift. So basically, there were three rounds. Uh, first one was the telephonic round, which uh, normally companies take. So it was with the reporting manager itself. So what he did, he called me and he asked me about, hey, uh, how are you and how's everything? And then he asked me like... Uh, What's your passion in terms of, uh, you know, is there any specific tool which you are interested in or what is your, uh, let's say, expected CTC or your basic hobbies? So basically what now, now when I look back, so he just wanted to check my confidence and my so passion was more about confidence checking profile yeah, checking. Yeah, yeah. and most probably communication skills. So he just wanted to check that if that this guy is that culture fit sort of guy. So that's about it. A second round was that technical round. Uh, it was with him only, with the with my current reporting manager. So it was divided into three subcategories. Uh, so uh, first one was SQL uh, test thing happening. Second was uh, Excel, and third was VBA. So these are the three tools which uh, Shift is basically using most extensively. So a very interesting fact. Uh, he didn't ask me straightforward questions. He didn't ask me, hey, can you tell me about joins? Hey, can you tell me about a group by statement or, you know, order by, nothing like that. He gave me a problem statement, a simple problem statement, uh, which they work upon daily in ship. And the best part about it is he, he was not so curious about me getting to that end goal. He asked me, he literally asked me that when you're thinking about it, please keep narrating it. Please keep narrating it. Okay. So, and so he, wanted to, he wanted to ensure that he's understanding your, your thought process as well. And it's a very, very, uh, very yeah. good technique to understand somebody's approach and thought process. Okay, very good. Exactly. He didn't care about me getting to that end result. So basically, so when I was doing that, I was writing that script. So if you talk about joints, if you talk about where... Uh, group by everything was being used in that. So basically what he did was he, he gave me three different tables, like uh, an ad metabase. So we are using metabase. He gave me three different tables and he asked me to write a script. And when I was writing it, he was listening to me, like how, how passionate I am about, you know, my thinking process or how driven I am. So uh, I was doing it, I was doing it, and he stopped me in between. I was a little afraid. I was like, what happened? He was like, let's go to the next problem. So then we started with Excel. So in Excel also, it was a basic shift problem, which they face day to day. So they have this trials data. Uh, and that in that data, they have to see the people who took the trials, right? Uh, 
did they get converted? Like, did they convert? So for that, he gave me two different files, Excel files, and he asked me to tell me the end result. He didn't ask me to go, uh, tell me about if statements or, you know, uh, uh, if formula, lookup formula, nothing. He just asked me to narrate it, the formulas you're using, why you are using it. So that was uh, the second subcategory. Third one was the VBA. So let me tell you why he asked me basic questions on VBA, because what happens is we have, since CRM is the backbone of sales, right? And everything that is being downloaded from CRM is in the form of Excel. So when we are downloading that files, there are too many multiple files that are being downloaded and that is being used by a sales team very, very vastly or say, you know, uh, in a very short span of time. So for that, we have to make automations that by a single click, you know, that report gets generated. Okay. So uh, this is about my three different rounds. Uh, no, two different rounds. And the third one was with the Just VP. To summarize. So he gave you in the second round, which was more like a technical round. He gave you one case on SQL. Then he followed it up with a case in Excel. And wherein he also tested your VB automation skills as well. Right, right, right. So this is what I want to say to even people listening to this. Uh, it, will, it is great that you know the tools. It is great that you know the formula. But you should also know the fact that why you're using that formula. You know, that business perspective to it. That logical thinking to it. Because if you will know that, even the formulas that you're going to use, it's going to be on spot. Like, you know, it's going to be great. You, you'll solve that problem very easily. So that is what I lied about that technical round. That they were not specific to, okay, like, tell me this, tell me this. No. They were they gave me a problem statement and then they asked me to find a solution to it by any way. And that's so true. Like, sir, even if I'm working today, they'll come to me, he'll come to me, he'll give me a problem statement. Shubham, this is my problem. Sir, you have to come with come up with a solution. Now it's up to me. I want to use SQL. I want to use Excel. I want to use different formulas. I want to use different joins, but I have to come up with a solution. Sure. And, and the third round was with the uh, VP himself, he was an ex uh, sales head with Zomato only. Yeah. So I'll tell you a very funny story about that third round. So basically, uh, I remember once you were teaching us uh, this SQL topic and you told us that you had an interview with this American company and you guys spoke about cricket. Yeah. So when he was taking my interview, he asked me, do you love like any sort of sports? I was like, yeah, I love cricket. So he picked up that Asia Cup thing where Dinesh Karthik hit a six on the last ball. And we, we spoke about cricket for 25 good minutes. Like we were just talking about cricket. And I was like, why is he asking me those questions? But those questions were also that analytic sort of questions. Okay. And, and I think moreover, moreover, he was checking that passion, that drive, that love for something, you know. And, and after that, those last 10 minutes, he asked me to show me my projects. Okay. And I'll tell you, those 10 minutes were the most difficult uh, 10 minutes of my life okay. because he was very straightforward. He asked me, Shubham, have you made any project? I was like, yes, I have. So by chance, I had this dashboard being made on Zomato's case study. Right, 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 right. So I yes, showed him that. Program. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That So basically, Ivy gave this project uh, Isha, when I was working with Ishani ma'am, so I worked with her and, you know, there was this problem statement of Zomato's case study. So she gave me that uh, thing and I did that with Python and then dashboarding through Power BI. Sure. So I, so he was very straightforward. He was like, what was your objective? I said, this was my objective. Did you reach to that objective? Two questions. I was like, yeah, can you, then he shared, then he, then he asked me that, can you share some experiences, the drawbacks you faced when you were doing that project? So by God grace, I was very happy that I did that Zomato's case study with uh, Ivy only. So I think he was super happy or somehow, you know, he did that Zomato case study. So then it was like, then you get that mail saying that, hey, congratulations. And that was like a dream come true thing. Very, yeah. very, very good. Very good. Very good. So very, very nicely uh, uh, structured interview you mentioned. Uh, first was confidence check. Second was technical. Within that, you had SQL case and an Excel case followed by a VB automation case. And then the third was with the, with the leader, whereby he again checked a few things about your profile. You spoke about cricket as a passion, you know, you know, companies want to hire people who have passion. You know? So I always say that whatever you're passionate about, truly passionate about, you can actually mention that in your resume and you never know how 
important that could be to make that connect with the interviewer. Uh, and then I would also like to bring uh, bring one thing as well. So we are talking about hey, you got selected for an interview, but let me tell you why I applied this on LinkedIn. Sure. So basically, the resume which I used was the that knowledge to create that resume that came from what you taught us. I still remember Ivy takes this uh, resume building class. That's like a single class in. I only take. Class, yeah. And I had a very different resume before that, before your class. And after I took that class, the way you taught us that, hey, you have to write that statistic data after a project in your resume, or this is needed, this is not needed, this yeah. is not needed. And and I think when and a few days back, I asked my even reporting manager, "What did you like about my resume?" He was he said he was it was very clear, it was very sorted. You mentioned everything about your project. Like it was not like I have to click on that link and go to that uh, GitHub thing and you know see that project. It was very clear. So basically, all thanks to you about it. And like you know, this is this is the best thing. Good that you mentioned that you know a lot of a lot of our learners end up missing that interview preparation class and problem solving class. They don't because you know we don't really talk about any tool technology you no know, machine learning there it's just about structuring your resume in a way that it becomes uh, ats friendly or applicant tracking uh, system friendly and having the right keywords having having the right amount of details you know uh, being able to summarize with the right uh, results and everything so good that you mentioned that you know i keep telling my learners that it's an important class but people a lot of people end up missing not give due importance to this, you know. So this is very important, you know. As always, Steve Jobs used to say, right, that creating a great product is important, but creating a great innovative marketing strategy around that product is even more important. So that resume is nothing but a marketing instrument for somebody's skills. So, so basically, sir, this is what I've realized since you guys are also researching the whole data analytics market. So you are also up to date with, you know, what is happening around. So when I talk to my TA person, talent, uh, talent acquisition person, and I ask her, like, what do you need in a resume? It was everything which you told. I was like, oh, and that time I was like, Pratik, sir. So that's about it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sh Sh uh, Shubham, just wanted to understand uh, one more thing. So you did a very comprehensive program, our Government of India and NASCOM certified data science with AI, ML, a deep learning program. Uh, what was the contribution of that particular program to clearing this interview and this was your first uh, first interview is what i understand you came with a mechanical engineering background and you were fresher yeah, so okay. how did this program help you to crack this interview so uh sir i'll tell you something very honestly like i applied um with uh, iv in 2021 august right sure 2021 july i had no idea about what data analytics is i had no clue i was finding a structure I was not aware about SQL. I was not aware about Excel. I was not aware about Power BI. I was finding that roadmap towards my journey to become that data analyst. And believe me, sir, I researched through YouTube videos. I was not able to find anything. And I remember the first class I had with you, that SQL class. I'm telling you, sir, after that class, my mindset was all clear. Like I knew what to do, like how to go about it. And when you ask me um, how IV helped me, so let me tell you how IV helped me, sir. So basically, those programs, those classes which we are having, SQL classes with you, uh, Excel, Power BI, VBA with Ishani, ma'am. So what is happening is, sir, there are three different points. Like I'll, I'll, I'll categorize into points, right? So when we are being taught that courses, those things which you mentioned that this is important, this is not important, please mark it, please make notes, please do this. I'm telling you, sir, that is everything that is being asked in our interviews. Like, even for my friends, the same things, you know. And most importantly, after that, you know, we complete a course, uh, not a course, a specific topic. And after that, we are being given that assignments. I'm telling you that assignment is divided into different categories. Like, let's say, for example, look up, we look up formula. We have 15 business problem questions that are there in that assignment. And I would request everyone listening uh, to this video that please guys, please go and solve those assignments and that too in that time range. Because let me tell you why. When you're solving those assignments, SQL or let's say Excel, VBA, Power BI, 
that business uh that business planning business thinking point of view comes uh, along with it you develop that skill and that is very important today also when i talk to anyone they tell me learning formulas learning a specific tool is not important is not that important it's like 50% of the tools 50% of that business mindset thinking because a tool can stay today a tool can change tomorrow but the logical thinking that business thinking that will that is something which will always be stable common organic thing so that is something which helped me so much and and the third third point like i, I i'll just i'll just say that after each and every course uh, you ishani ma'am uh, uh, basically asked us to make projects and it was a very definite thing that shubham you have to make three projects ishani ma'am was like shubham you have to make three projects and even more even more and i was like ma'am why are we forcing this why are we forcing but today when i am seeing people giving interviews or myself giving interviews i see how it's being used you know they don't see that oh you know a formula that is something which is shown in your resume but they they want to see that there was a business problem and how shubham solved that business problem if we'll hire him will that that thing help us or not will he face everything with that positive attitude or not so sir these small small things you know these three different things this is something which are very basic but also the most important thing as a fresher to get into a company get into yeah very well surprised and you know it's a message that we always give to our learners is that uh, just learning a tool is never enough unless you are able to showcase that you are able to solve a business problem and when you are solving a business problem you will face challenges and those challenges are the challenges that the, that a recruiter is interested in that how did you overcome those challenges right a business problem which did not have any challenge would not be a business real business problem and as part of the course uh, you know we make people work on so many uh, such cases and projects right uh, 30 plus projects uh, are mandatory then uh, a few projects we make it as research project which, you know the learners have to do individually so those are very very important because those are the things that would actually go into the resume and that's what the interviewer would be interested in finding i'll also add a point to it since uh, it's not just about you guys giving us projects even yeah. if you are facing any problem for the whole eight month if ever i face a problem and i've ever been to ishani ma'am or you that sir i'm facing this problem you have been like okay give me some time let me just book this uh, meeting slot with you and then let's work on this so it's a very great thing like it's it's like oh he is there to help us out so you don't feel that oh how will i do it how will i complete it so that helpful nature that is something which i have loved about iv thank you appreciate it we provide that community service to everybody very good shubham a uh, great interacting with you shubham and you were a you were one of the very very sincere students uh, learner of the program and you see i mean a lot of times people don't realize that every success story has a lot of effort behind that success right so when you see a learner like shubham talking so confidently today uh, they are able to do so because they were very structured as he very rightly said during the discussion today that do the learn do the assignment do the cases within the due time and within the due time that we assign you to do it if you are able to do it then your learning momentum remains and then you learn that your learning experience that lxp learning experience would be significantly better and your retention would be also significantly better if you do not break your learning moment right 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 sir all right shubham thanks a lot for joining in uh, today and thanks a lot for explaining all the rounds that you've had with ship and guys do check out Sh uh, shubham's linkedin profile as well he's a very helpful person uh, he reached out to us to hire a few more people for for his uh, Uh, startup so uh, shubham all the best to you thank you so much, and uh, hopefully you'll remain in touch with us and thanks a lot shubham thank you thank you sir thank you so much thanks to iv and thanks to the whole team of iv thank you so much